take my angel wings from my button before and to put John Denver's face in here and then go ahead and um, use the button design. So what I want you to remember is your requirement for your coffee mug is to start with your button design. But you can start with your button design and then edit it to a little bit degree. So for example, I'm going to take off on my working copy all of the words. So I'm just going to keep this as my working copy. I'm also going to go ahead and take off this screen tint. Now because my coffee mug finished, finished size is square and it ends up being 3 by 3, I'm going to go ahead and move these two items a little bit and just edit them. So even though you're using the same pictures, you're, they're not necessarily and they shouldn't be in the same place. And those are going to probably need some resizing. For example, on this one, I want the picture to be right in the center. And since that picture isn't right in the center, I'm going to go back to my source file, select all, edit copy, and put that in again as a new document. because it's a bigger file. Now I'm going to turn off, off the one that was too small and go ahead and put this all the way up here. Because my concept is to add this third photo. Again, you need to have three photos and you need to add one. And I'm having a hard time finding that one that I had. The picture I have in mind is just to put his face right here so he's the angel over himself. So I'm going to quickly go out and see if I can file open that because I think I had it open in my preview window. And the nice thing is, since I have my file folder with all of John Denver's pictures in it, I can just go ahead and get those original source files, which is what I'm going to actually end up doing. It's just going in and finding the picture I want to put in, in his face. So this is the picture I'm using, and I will include that as a source file. So I go to open it. And I'm going to uh, select all again, edit copy, and then paste it into my working. Oh, there's the file to begin with. That's the file I was actually looking for because I've already edited his face in. So I'm going to go ahead and select that layer and just go ahead and copy that picture because it's already edited the way. See how his head's been sized to that that size so it looks like he's the angel. So I'm going to edit copy, go back to my working image again, and edit paste. Now that that's a little bit too big for that size, so I'm going to, I want it to be about there, and so I'm going to go ahead and drop this down to where I want it. This is too large now, so I'm going to go under Image, um, Transform, Edit Transform, and Scale, and then I'm going to resize his head so it kind of fits in those angel wings. And actually, this is actually the same picture as this one. I just noticed that. So you're going to need to use a different picture. But for the purpose of this demo, I'll just use the same one. Now, I'm not really happy that just his face looks like he's an angel. 
So I'm going to go in and put some arms or something like that in there. I'm going to put the tent back on and see if it helps it. It helps it a little bit, but I think it's going to help it to add some shirt and some various other things to make him look more like that angel. So I'm going to play around with it, um, and then I'll show you the finished version. But the point is, is that you need to add a third picture and go ahead and edit it um, in your working copy. Move your items around a little bit with that third picture so that you're utilizing the principles of repetition by repeating the same photographs from your button to your coffee mug. It, it makes the theme the same. So that's how you add a photograph to your um, coffee mug. So you have a total of three different photographs plus extra. Now you can also put your logos in. Um, with The finished size is um, three by three. And in the next video, I will show you how to um, turn your working copy into that video.